Welcome to Chicago. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best places to visit when you come here and the best places to eat in Chicago. So if you're ready, I know I am, let's check out everything Chicago has to offer. Chicago has to be one of the best cities in the whole world and I'm so happy I was able to visit the city and build this video for you. Now, I'm going to be showing you a lot of cool things, so you're not going to want to miss anything in this video. I'm going to show you the best places to eat, the best places to shop, and the best places to go. Now, obviously, when you're in Chicago, you got to try a Chicago dog, and we do that in the video. We try the deep dish pizza. We visit the world's largest Starbucks, the Starbucks Roastery in downtown Chicago. We go to a sporting event. We do the river walk. We go to tons of parks. And I'm going to be showing you so many hidden gems that you would never know if you never watched this video. So if you are planning to come visit Chicago, this is the one video on YouTube that you're going to want to watch. So without further ado, let's get into the meat and potatoes. I'm going to show you 19 cool, amazing, interesting things you should do when you come visit this amazing city, which is Chicago. Starting off with number one is eat at Pertillo's Hot Dogs. Now. We've been told by so many people when we come to Chicago, you got to come to Portillo's and try a Chicago dog. So the first thing we did after we left the airport was we took a Uber to our hotel, dropped our bags, and then ran over to Portillo's. And let me tell you, this place looked so cool inside. I was so excited. We are here at the world famous Portillo's hot dogs. Let's try an authentic Chicago dog. So we ordered our food and I was starving. I was ready to dig into this Chicago dog. We finally got it. I was ready to go. So here is my full review of Portillo's. First time trying a Portillo's hot dog. This one is the Chicago style, which is our most popular. Let's give it a shot. Very juicy, very flavorful. Comes with this nice pickle. We also got their crinkle cut fries. Let's give that a shot. So the fries are very good for crinkle cuts. And this hot dog is excellent, has amazing flavor. So if you do come to Chicago, make sure you come here and check it out. It is great. I am still thinking about that amazing hot dog. Okay, number two on our list, shopping on the Magnificent Mile. Now, this is the main shopping area in Chicago. It is located on Michigan Avenue. You have Under Armour, H&M, Zara, all those brands and stores that you know and love. So if you want to do some shopping and not break the bank when you come to Chicago, come to the Magnificent Mile down Michigan Avenue. Check out these stores. Now, once you reach the middle of the mile, you're dropped off in this very cool area by the Trump Tower where there is an ice cream museum. And it's just a really photogenic area. I recommend you take some photos there, maybe some selfies with the buildings. That's what we did. So this is a hidden gem for photos, that area. Next up, number three, visit the Starbucks Reserve Roastery in downtown Chicago. Now, we've been to the one in Milan. And I got to say, this one was even better. It's huge. You see a lot more people working there, a lot more food options. So if you do come to Chicago, the Starbucks Reserve Roastery is definitely worth checking out. You can even see them make coffee beans right in front of you, which I've never seen before at any of the Starbucks I've been to. Now, one pro tip I will give you if you do plan on coming here, try to go on an off-peak day and time, like maybe like a Tuesday at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Don't come here on like a Friday in the morning or Saturday or Sunday in the morning. Because when we walked by on the weekends, especially in the morning, this place was packed. So plan your visit accordingly if you want to come here and you don't want it to be too busy. Let's go take the ride up the escalator. This is like seven floors of Starbucks. The Starbucks Reserve had so many options for food, it was unbelievable. So they had amazing looking pizza, sandwiches, croissants, and all different types of pastries. I was getting really excited to try some of this food because I heard it was so good here. So we did get two drinks and we did get one pastry. So I'm going to give you my full thoughts and honest review of everything we got at the Starbucks Reserve in downtown Chicago. 
So without further ado, here is my review. So I got a dark chocolate mocha from the Starbucks Reserve here in Chicago. I've only ever had the white chocolate mocha before. You can see. It is dark chocolate. Very good, very chocolatey. Does, you can really taste the mocha and the caffeine flavor in it. My wife also got an ice drink and look at this cool glass that this iced coffee came in. And this is for takeout. So you get to take this glass home and you can keep it. It says Starbucks Reserve on it. We didn't see these when we went to Milan, but I guess here in Chicago they have them, very nice. And then we also got a chocolate hazelnut cornetto. You can see that. I'm gonna try that. Apparently it's only available at the Starbucks Reserve, so let's see if it's any good. Here we go for the first bite. It tastes like a buttery croissant with Nutella in the center. Very good. I recommend you check it out if you do come to the Starbucks Reserve and order this. It's, yeah, like I said, it's pretty good. Now I have to say, we really enjoyed our time at the Starbucks Reserve and we liked relaxing, sipping our drinks and looking out the window. Now, once that was all done, we headed upstairs because they had a full-size bar up here. People relaxing, drinking chocolate martinis, espresso martinis. It was very cool to see from a Starbucks, but that's not all they have. They also have an amazing rooftop terrace, so you know we had to go check that out. So we went all the way to the top floor, and you get incredible views from this terrace. So if you do come to the Starbucks, I recommend checking out the terrace. Next up, you got to try Garrett's popcorn. Now this popcorn is world famous, and it originates right here in Chicago. And I have to say, it is amazing quality. It is a little bit pricey, but it is definitely worth it. Number five. You have to go to a sporting event when you come to Chicago. We're football fans. We went to a Bears-Patriots game. We can also go to a hockey game like a Blackhawks or a White Sox or Red Sox in baseball. Chicago is very sport-centric, so I do recommend checking out a game if you do come here. Number six, watch a sunset by the lake. The Lake Michigan here is beautiful. So if you are in the area, it's very nice to watch a sunset because it just reflects beautifully off the lake. Number seven, dine at La Scarola. This restaurant was recommended to us by a friend. It is a small family-run Italian restaurant, and the food is excellent. You've got to make reservations early if you want to come here, so do that if you're interested in excellent Italian food in Chicago. Number eight, visit Millennium Park. This is another great park in Chicago, but you know what Millennium Park is super famous for? You can see it right there at the top. It is none other than the bean in Chicago, which you got to check out when you come here. Now, don't do what we did and come here at a super busy time. We came here at a Saturday around 12 o'clock. That's a no-no. Come here super early because look how crowded it was. So many people, but it still was amazing to check out. And it does look exactly like the photo. Now, a little tip I want to share with you. If you want some quick and easy and fast food after visiting the bean, you can go to the Raising Canes, which is located across the street. We went there. They're excellent tenders. I recommend Raising Canes for a quick lunch. Number 10 on our list is watch a street performance. Any major city you go to, they're going to have great street performances. We were inside Primark shopping. We walked outside and we saw this big, huge gorilla dancing. We had the watch. Of course, we gave the guy a couple bucks because we respect and we love to pay it forward to our street performers. So if you do come to Chicago, watch a street performance. They are really fun and interesting. Number 11, explore the river walk. So down Michigan Avenue, you're going to find the entrance to the river walk. It's open every day from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. It's really nice, especially in the summer. There's bars and cafes. You can chill out in a patio and just people watch, watch boats go by and relax. Unfortunately, it was pretty cold when we were here, so not too much was open, but we did enjoy the walk and we really did enjoy watching the boats go by. It's also a great spot for photos because you can get excellent background. So if you are into photography or you want a great shot for your Instagram, the Chicago River Rock is a great spot for photos. And overall, just to chill, have a coffee, look around. It is beautiful. 
Number 11 on our list, go to the Chicago History Museum. There's so many museums in Chicago. Chicago History is one of the most popular ones, so we do recommend checking it out when you visit here. Number 12 is the visit the It Sugar store. Now, the It Sugar store is on Michigan Avenue on the Magnificent Mile, and it is an excellent candy store. I haven't seen one like this in so long that's stocked with so much candy. And the candy here is super fresh and it's not too expensive. It is reasonably priced for what you get. We visited the candy store twice when we were in Chicago and both times we got candy to bring back to our hotel room and we really enjoyed it. So if you do have a sweet tooth, check out It's Sugar. They do have some great candy in Chicago. Next up, you're in Chicago. you got to ride the Chicago Metro. Now, a lot of people say it is dangerous, but we didn't feel that it was dangerous at all. We felt safe the whole time. The trains came on time. They were very clean inside. And overall, the people on the train were respectful and friendly. So it's just like riding the metro in another city like New York or London or Toronto. It was no different than that. We took the train to get to the football stadium and another hot tip I want to share with you is you can actually use the train to get to and from the airport from downtown Chicago. So it is another method if you don't want to use Uber or Lyft. Number 14, go to the Chicago Theater. Now the Chicago Theater is world famous. That night we were there, they had a sold out comedy show going on. But just to go inside the theater and feel the energy and look around is such a great experience. So I do recommend you do it when you're in Chicago. And hey, look, they even had a wedding party taking photos in front of it. Number 15, visit Lakefront Park. Now this is one of the many parks we checked out in Chicago. It was super close to our hotel. So in this part of this video, I'm going to be showing you three parks to check out. This one is great for photos and checking out the sunset. And the next park we're going to go to is a really cool themed park called Oz Park, which is themed from the Wizard of Oz movie. So you see the Tin Man there. It's a very nice park for walking. We did see a lot of students walking around after school. And they even have a Dorothy and Toto statue. Such a beautiful park. Kind of reminds me of Central Park a bit. So if you are in Chicago, I recommend you check out Oz Park. And another park that I want to share with you located in downtown Chicago is Lincoln Park. Now obviously this park is named after President Lincoln and they do have a very unique and interesting statue of him which I'll show you in a second. But this park is also great for walking and photos and has this huge little river in front of it. So we just enjoyed relaxing and looking at it. And across the river there you can see a statue of Lincoln on the horse. You also do get amazing views of the city from Lincoln Park, which is, if you clicked on this video, the thumbnail was taken in Lincoln Park. There's the view right there. And another hidden gem about Lincoln Park is it has the Lincoln Park Zoo right inside of it, which is actually free. So let's go check out the zoo. We have made it here to the Lincoln Park Zoo. Now the best thing about this zoo is entry is actually free. So if you are looking to do something in Chicago that is free, the zoo is a great option. So let's go check it out. If you are visiting Chicago for the weekend and you need something to do to fill in time, I highly recommend the Lincoln Park Zoo. We enjoyed it here very much. We saw zebras, we saw monkeys, we saw gorillas, we saw kangaroos, we saw everything. The animals they had here were very fun to watch, very entertaining. So if you are looking to fill in an afternoon in Chicago, this is a great activity. And like I already said, it is free. So I highly recommend the Lincoln Park Zoo to anyone visiting Chicago. It was excellent. One of the best zoos I've actually been to, surprisingly. But it was really, really good. So we just finished up at the zoo. It was fantastic. And now we're going to go try some of the best deep dish pizza in Chicago. So the last thing I'm going to recommend for you to do, number 19, is eat at Piquad's Pizza in downtown Chicago. Now this was recommended from one of our friends. She said this is the best deep dish in Chicago. And I have to tell you, honestly, my personal opinion, this pizza did not disappoint. With the nice crust around the edges and the perfect cooked and bakedness of inside of the pizza, this pizza was phenomenal. I got pepperoni, cheese, sauce, onion, and you can see the cheese pull right there. That didn't disappoint either. 
This pizza was excellent. I enjoyed every single bite of it. And the flavors from this pizza, the sauce, the cheese, the fresh ingredients, everything was hitting on point. And it was fairly priced as well. So if you are in Chicago and you want a deep dish pizza, I have to recommend Pequod's. It is phenomenal. Top tier deep dish pizza. Apparently a lot better than Giordano's. We didn't go there because we heard Pequod's is better. My wife got a nice penne pasta and I finished off my pizza with a Caesar salad. But quads, I'm going to give you a 10 out of 10. It was excellent. So that's going to wrap it up for our tour of Chicago. I hope you found all the restaurants and places that I showed in this video helpful. If you can, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next video. So long from Chicago, Illinois.